vanilla ice ice baby come on vanilla ice ice baby come on it looks like we have a vampire problem steaks so I love being out on my bike this time of the year it's really nice obviously as you all know a little bit of fresh air a little bit of vitamin D is way better than banging out the miles in the basement that's not news but the one thing I often weigh and this really just comes down to lethargy is the bikes on the trainer I could leave it there bang out some miles and be done for the day or I could take it off the trainer get the wheel back on go for a ride but invariably the bike's gonna get dirty it's not too bad today last week was worse but in Ottawa as a lot of places that have harsh winters do they put down salt or sand dirt to maintain the roads to keep them clear so uh, we do the same I don't know if you can see this sand maybe sand salt combo it's shitty it's shitty on your bike and if you want it to last a little bit at least your drivetrain you got to give it a clean so I'm going to show you what I do post ride cleaning up my bike out doing a couple loops of the Rideau Canal here in sunny Ottawa I don't know one degree we say this every year when it's mild like this we always say to ourselves wow Ottawa would be awesome if winter just stayed like this for the next couple of months but we know better I'm not a member of the fashion police nor am I overtly conscientious about my fashion choices over the winter months it's more about just trying to stay warm bro but check this out this is uh, borderline embarrassing you see that so uh, these are my Castelli winter tights uh, size small because uh, I'm a petite gentleman but I'm tall and uh, for these to fit right and not be baggy in the groinal area it's been a week since I mentioned my groin uh, I gotta hike them up so it's kind of like uh, hipster winter tight chic is that what's going on there if there was ever an argument for socks above the tights these would be the uh, <laughs> these would be the perfect example of why that works so if you're out riding around today and you see me please do not point out my short pants like my Scottish friend says it looks like your pants have had an argument with your shoes hello he's not wrong made it home now the fun begins I'm sorry it's got to be done the bike needs to be cleaned so it's not in terrible shape but uh, yeah salty water yeah, nobody wants that on their drive train over an extended period of time so this is what it looks like uh, before we get uh, down and dirty you can see you know some dirt here dirt mud yeah the wheels derailleur not horrific so what are we using a little bit of soap and water that's all we need until we get inside and then uh, we'll finesse it a little bit Soaked, watered, and uh, dried mostly. That's how it looks now.
I'm gonna take it inside. I'm gonna get some get some muck off going on it. I'm gonna re-oil the chain. And um, what I tend to do at this time of the year is get out the WD-40 and spray down some of the pivot points, mostly around the derailers. Um, let's get it inside. Check it out. Made it back inside. Gave the bike a little bit of time to um, acclimate to air dry and it's looking pretty good. I do want to put a muck off finish to it, which I'll get to in just a second. And I'm going to uh, re-grease, re-oil the chain. Uh, before you ask, one of the reasons why I didn't take a power washer to it or a hose. Here in Ottawa, we typically put uh, those type of things away at this time of the year and shut off all water access um, to external piping um, because uh, you run the risk of freezing those pipes and uh, you certainly don't want to do that. So no hose in operation at uh, Shea Maddy until late March, something like that. So it's got to be a, a bucket of soap and water for now if you're going to ride outside and get this bad boy clean. So I'm not endorsed at all by these people, but uh, I tend to buy quite a bit of their product. This is the muck off dry lube. I'm going to throw this on before I take the wheel off and uh, get inside and, uh, and give the seat post and stays a good cleaning. So a very important question for you in the application of this dry lube, are you a top or are you a bottom? Would you rather put the oil on the top of the chain or would you rather put it on the bottom of the chain? Does it make a difference? Okay, chain has been lubed. It's pretty good, it's pretty clean, it's cleanish. Uh, it's time to um, get muck offing, if that's a thing. bit of preventative cleaning over these winter months I think is a good idea. It's basically being done to extend the lifespan of that drivetrain. And obviously I clean the bike way more in these winter months than I do in the summer months just to get rid of that uh, salt and dirt and sand. It's back on the trainer and it's ready to go. That's a wrap. Enjoy the holiday season, enjoy your time with the family, and uh, we'll do a 2023 recap next week. Take care.